Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Renee. And I'm Leah D'Amelio. And in this episode of Mahala Daily, we're going line dancing. Yeah! Line dancing is a choreographed dance made up by a series of steps done by a group of people standing in lines. The line dancing we are most familiar with today began in the 1970s and is most commonly associated with country music. Some of the most popular line dances include the hustle, the boot scoot and boogie, and the electric slide. Today, Andrea and I are going to learn a few moves with Kathy at the Cowboy Palace in Los Angeles. What is line dancing? Like, if I had never heard of it before, how would you describe it to me? I would call it synchronized choreography. You don't have to have any major talent to do it. It's, you know, you learn an exercise in gym class, teacher demonstrates it, and you repeat it. And that line dancing is ha that same type of thing. However, it provides an opportunity for social to be build up the cardiovascular, get the metabolism rolling, and by the end of the night, you've built up a sweat and you have had yourself a good time. What are some of the most popular line dances that you guys do here, or that, you know, are popular around the country? Right now, um, one of the hottest dances is the Alan Jackson Good Time. And some people have referred to it as the new electric slide. He created this dance. Uh, he wanted to go the longest line dance, and so, in fact, he has. The video shows him and his uh, the people going from one state to another. And that's really one of the hottest dances. Some dances are pretty standard, from electric slide to tush push to cowboy hustle. Wait, wait, wait. You said tush push. I want to know what the tush push is. Tush push. Um, I'm going to review that dance tonight. Tish push can be rather suggestive. It can be um, generic, very vanilla. It just all depends. It uh, provides you the opportunity for attitude. And that's so many of these dances, when you add the attitude, it makes the difference. I have never really line danced before. Is it going to be really difficult for me? Funny you should say that. When I start my classes, I demonstrate them first. And people get these wide-eyed looks, and they're just, oh, no, we can never do it. And so we've now tagged my dance floor as the NFC, the no freak out zone, OK? <laughs> So, we break the dance down into increments of either eight counts or six counts, and before you know it, we keep, we build on it. But before you know it, we're done with the dance. And people are just, oh, we did it. And they're just proud of themselves, and we're high-fiving, and it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and head out to the dance floor right now. Leah and I are about to do some boot scooting. Okay, tush push is heel, toe, Heel, 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 switch, heel, heel, toe, heel, alternate, heel. one, two, three, bumping to the right hand, two to the right, two to the left, right, left, right, left, one, one and two, rock, return, one and two, rock, return. All right. This time, one and two, shuffle, put your left foot forward and do a complete half turn, face the bottom. Now, put all your weight over the top of your foot, give me a shuffle and do another half turn, lead on your left. One and two, half turn, one, two. Now, no shuffle in between, quarter turn, stomp, and clap. That's the end of the dance. All right, here we go. Here we go with the music. Five, six, seven, eight, yes. heel, toe, heel, heel, Whoa. sweat. You know, the faster you go, and not the easier to get. Let me tell you, it's easy to shuffle <laughs> these guys. I need to buy some new down. equipment, okay? <laughs> now, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who has never tried line dancing before? Maybe they think they can't do it, or they're not into country music. What would you tell them? To loosen up. Just loosen up and come, and keep coming because you cannot learn it in one night. You just come and watch and count. It's usually one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, do something else. Or do the same thing to the right and the same thing to the left. So mostly it repeats itself a lot so that everybody can learn it quickly and have a great time doing it. For more information, go to mahalo.com slash how to line dance.
Leah and I had a great time learning how to line dance today. We haven't quite perfected our steps just yet, though. I guess a girl from Ohio doesn't quite have the moves as a girl from North Dakota. But you did hold your own out there on the floor. Thank you. So from Mahalo Daily, I'm Andrea Renee. And I'm Leah D'Amelio. And we'll see, see you, you next time. time.